This biomechanical analysis is designed to assess movement dysfunction of the lower kinetic chain. The DMA will provide you with an objective measure of movement dysfunction, give you a clear picture of symmetry and asymmetry between the right and left in single limb testing, the three top potential root causes for that movement dysfunction, three potential injuries and performance issues that you'll be at risk for as a result of the movement dysfunction. The DMA will also provide you with risk and return to sport ratings, as well as two to three top corrective exercises that should be performed. If the subject is under a doctor's care or has had surgery, a physician's protocol may apply. Therefore, some of these activities of the dynamic movement assessment may be restricted, for example, plyometrics. You should not perform the DMA in these cases until it's been cleared by the physician. For surgical patients or post-operative patients, standard of practice for functional testing does apply. That means that they should be greater than 12 weeks post-op, they should have full pain-free range of motion, less than one plus effusion on the stroke test, and greater than 70% symmetry for quadriceps strength. Most importantly, use your judgment. If at any time you feel that this test is unsafe, stop the test.